Um, today we are making a poodle bomb pop. First step is you need a white poodle. Right here. So now you're going to take their collar off. If she's a good dog, she'll just sit there. So you will need blue raspberry lemonade Kool-Aid for the blue. And for the red, you'll need strawberry or cherry Kool-Aid. You'll also need two spray bottles, a pitcher of water, and something to clean your hands off with later. You want to make sure you are wearing something that you don't care that it gets uh, <laughs> Kool-Aid on. <laughs> okay, so first you will put two packages of the red in one of these containers, or one of the spray bottles. Now you will fill it up halfway with water, with the pitcher. You close it and shake it up until it's all dissolved. And then you'll fill the rest of it up with water. And then you'll do the same with the blue. So now you have the two dyes that you will use to make a poodle bomb pop. Come here, Sophie. Come here. Hi. So you'll do this dry. And you want to do the red on top and the blue on bottom, and then you'll we'll leave a white stripe in the tummy. So all you're going to do is just spray really close to their body. kind of rub it in after you spray it. But you want to make sure it gets all the way down to like their scalp and their skin. Make sure they get a good dye. Try to get as close as you can to the eyes, but don't spray it in her eyes. She will not like that. <laughs> Make sure you get the back of her legs. Or if it's a him, get the back of his legs. So when you are done spraying, you kind of want to rub, rub it all in and make sure it's all getting into the skin so it will stay after you give her a bath at the end. You want to keep a towel handy too. Alright, now we're going to do the blue. Make sure you get all the red out of your hands. You 
want to get all the color off before you start like rubbing her with the blue. So to get all the red off, we're using a little bit of OxyClean powder. And with a little bit of water, you scrub it together and it will all come off. So again, just rub it in. So after you get her all sprayed, you want to let her dry completely before you rinse her off. So maybe take her around the neighborhood, your neighbors will get a kick out of it. Let it all settle in and then um, when she's all dry, just rinse her off, no soap, cold water, and make sure you get all the ex excess uh, Kool-Aid off of her. And that's it. So when she's all dry and you took her for a walk, you're going to rinse her off with um, a hose with cold water. And you want to do it as fast as you can because it gets a little cold for them. Sit. You just want to get the, all the excess laid off. So after you're done rinsing her off, you want to Take a couple towels, dry her off as much as best as you could. Towel. And then you can also use a hair dryer to dry her off. But that's it. And if on the towel you have um, like Kool-Aid stains, then that means she's not all rinsed off. You want to rinse her off a little bit more.